Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Glasgow, just had the way in here. With me, I've got Mark McKeon. Just weighed in for your pro yep. debut. How are you feeling? Oh, absolutely amazing. I feel buzzing. Got the young team here away just watching us. Um, just kind of made to get in there now. I mean, it was announced as a four rounder, but it's actually a six rounder. You're getting pushed back. I get it announced as a four rounder, Nine. but it's six rounds. Is that doing. testament to your amateur background? Um, I well, definitely. Um, I just I feel as if I could get in box six rounds. Well, not no problem, but I could handle six rounds really well. No, I mean I've been doing six rounds, eight rounds in Spain, training really hard. I've been training with top class pros, so ready to go. Yeah, Terry. Um, I spoke in the. I mean, no, not a bad event to make your pro debut. I mean, the, the place is sold out. Uh, you sold quite a few tickets to ah, sell. So uh, that, that, that's the promoter's dream right there. Ah, exactly. Selling a boy that can fight. Uh, what can the fans expect from you on Saturday night then? Fireworks basically, um, a fast start and a, um, aggressive, educated, aggressive style if you know what I mean. Um, so I, I've got a fan friendly style I would say. Is that, is, that what you, is that what the fans can look forward to? I mean you're up against an opponent who hardly ever gets stopped but uh, over the sixth round do you feel like you can maybe get him out there? Well as long as he's ready for somebody to stop to him like glue for the sixth <laughs> round he should be alright. I mean you're from Coatbridge. There's a famous boxer from Coke Bridge, I think everyone knows this is Ricky, Ricky Burns. Burns. I mean, three weight world champion, still going strong at 36 year old, 50 plus fights. Does somebody like Ricky Burns inspire you going at this point? I have. Since I started boxing, I've always looked up to Ricky Burns. Um, we started off in the same club. I always remember when I was young seeing him uh, about the gym and sparring and stuff like that. I just always thought, looked up to him. Um, and uh, now, three weight world champion, I think, but he's done for the sport, it's amazing. Um, do you think you can go one better than him and go a four weight world champion? <laughs> oh, no, we ain't seeing it. We can get the first fight out of the way first. Ah, no, we're pushing our gun just now. What, what weight are you going to campaign at? If, uh, uh, feather. Featherweight, so nah, you're going to get down? So I weighed in just nine stone, four ounces, I think it was. It's a good, good so division. Just, uh, I mean, take a bit over it. Josh Bongdon's up there. It's a good division domestically, and Carl Franklin's and all that sort of stuff. Big names. Ah, it's my brilliant mate to be honest. It's a really competitive weight. There's some crank fights out there, after the ones I've got a bit of experience on them about. So how was it? Like, obviously, you've been in the amateur game a long time, but how was it like? your first professional way in the press conference how was sort of the professional fight week how did you find that i am just soaking it all in just taking taking in all the experience it's been amazing like, getting interviewed by me aye aye that's what i was going to highlight yeah, um, highlight oh that's going to be my highlight by Andy. Uh, I, I mean you said that the fans can expect fireworks but for somebody that doesn't know who Mark McKeown is how would you describe your sort of i know you've said you've got a fan fan friendly style but how would you describe it in more simple terms if you know what I mean like are you a come forward fighter back I've got fighter? a come forward aggressive style but educated I don't just come forward reckless mm. I come forward um, educated do you know what I mean a wee bit, a wee bit of fan friendly uh, as we like to say definitely uh, well talking about MTK when I mean, you've signed the MTK they've got you on this bill what are we hoping for like obviously this is the tail end of 2019 but you, what are you hoping for for 2020 um, well it, even if in December we could maybe get an RB fight um, squeezed in if there's a, a slot on a show. Um, I think you're all over the place right now. Ah, that's it. So so if, there's a, if there becomes a wee slot available in December, I'll jump on that as well. And then um, 2020, I expect a big year. Just keep getting the fights under my belt and just see where the road takes us, basically. I'm looking at you, you're, you're my height and you're a featherweight. I mean, Aye, geez, I am quite tall for it as well. Uh, 25. 25, still, still young. Still ah. young so. I made that way, no, no problem. Easy I've just you. brought it down gradually and good, yeah. and it's. Have you got the nutritionist on board? No, no I've not. It's just done it by with the advice from my coaches and myself. Just oh. like you pick up different stuff over the years, they making weight, and yeah. just uh, I made that a lot easier than what I thought it would have been. Yeah, you know what stuff. Well, finally, you said the fans can expect fireworks on. Uh, definitely. Things. So how excited are you, man? Oh, you I'm absolutely amazing. Smile on your face as I start talking. Definitely, to you. I, I feel brilliant. Feel brilliant. Um, just got a wee bit. Of, I've got to go and see the doctor and then that's us, I'm going to get him get fed up. Fed up, I big boy Nando's. Aye, Nando's, see you yeah, called it. Nando's <laughs> well, Mark, I won't keep you much longer. Thanks very much for your time, man. Night, uh, good luck. Good talk to you, man. man. Thank you.